us with Michelle. Uh, beautiful day yesterday, almost summer like, but this morning it's what, like 30 degrees colder than it was yesterday. Yeah, you know, it's not terrible outside right now. We are tracking some showers, but they're in response to a cold front, and we'll feel the difference in the temperatures for today. Yesterday, the warmest day in about six months here in southern New England with a high of 76 degrees. Radar this morning, tracking just some light showers. This is nothing heavy, shouldn't slow you down. You may occasionally have to turn on your windshield wipers, but it's again in response to a cold front coming in that'll bring a fresh batch of dry air to the area. With the limited showers this morning, dry brush, gusty winds, falling humidity, prone to some fire weather conditions again for today. All that means is if a fire were to develop, it could spread more quickly because of the conditions. And that's what this red flag warning, the areas shaded in red uh, are signifying that fire weather warning in effect from noon until eight o'clock this evening. Right now, just for the northwest corner of the state, the humidity will be a little bit higher the further south and east that you go. So threat tracker for today, we will keep it in the green. Early morning showers winding down Wednesday and Thursday's threat tracker low as well. We've got some beautiful days ahead for us. Even today is mostly dry after we get through these showers by about eight o'clock this morning. So 46 degrees right now feels like 44 winds from the south southwest at five. It's mid 40 Smithfield 44 westerly 47 in New Bedford. Winds are fairly light right now, but they will pick up in some gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour expected once this front moves through and this you can see shower activity is dropping down to the south and east. It'll move through here over the next two to three hours. And then after that, risk of any additional shower is very low. Can't completely rule out one trying to pop up this afternoon, but say for the most part, it looks dry past eight this morning. Three o'clock this afternoon, you can see that mix of sun and clouds. Then this evening and tonight, we're getting into clear skies and a cooler start tomorrow morning with bright sunshine that'll take us throughout the day on your Wednesday. Commute future cast for this morning. Early shower giving way to some drier skies by eight, nine o'clock. 45 degrees for the temperatures this morning. Maybe grab the umbrella if you have to be out walking here this morning. Looking at our future cast for this afternoon, breezy and partly sunny, lower 60s. Hope Valley and in westerly 57 Wickford with the wind from the north northeast close to 60 for the high today. It's a big difference from yesterday's mid and upper 70s. Johnston, East Providence, Seekonk, you're going to be cooler today and those breezes will add to that cooler feel. Still a comfortable day though and seasonable for mid April tonight down to 42 under a northerly wind at about 5 to 12 miles per hour. Here's the seven day future cast. Tomorrow looks great. This is average highs for April school vacation. Lots of sunshine start to finish throughout the day tomorrow. We're looking at temperatures close to 70 degrees on Thursday with mostly sunny skies. Friday's high close to 70 as well with some scattered showers during especially the afternoon and evening. They'll continue into Friday night, but looks like we'll dry out in time for the upcoming weekend. Your latest future cast always available.